dragons, the mythical creatures that have fascinated humanity for centuries. Born from the rich tapestry of human imagination, these grand beasts have breathed fire into our stories, art and culture. Throughout history, they have been revered, feared and often both. Across the globe, the dragon's essence manifests in different ways. Let's take a journey into the heart of Chinese and Greek mythologies where dragons hold esteemed seats of power and wisdom. In China, the dragon, or Long, symbolizes imperial power and prosperity. They are believed to control the weather and water, bringing rain to nourish the crops. They are benevolent beings, revered as symbols of luck, strength and wisdom. On the other hand, in ancient Greek mythology, dragons, or dracons, were not always the kind creatures. Often depicted as large serpentine creatures, they were seen as guardians of sacred places or treasures. They were fearsome adversaries with Hercules, Jason and Cadmus among the heroes who faced and conquered these formidable beasts. Yet their wisdom was unquestioned, and their power undeniable. Despite their contrasting representations, dragons in both cultures symbolize power and wisdom, embodying the boundless potential of nature and the human spirit. They are creatures of myth and legend, their stories passed down through generations, shaping our understanding of the world and our place within it. While dragons remain in the realm of mythology in most parts of the world, there exists a real-life dragon in a corner of our planet. It's not as large as the dragons of lore, and it doesn't breathe fire. But it is a creature of great power, an apex predator that rules its domain with an iron claw. Its name is the Komodo dragon, and its story is as fascinating as any dragon tale from ancient mythology. Our journey takes us to the Indonesian islands, where Western scientists first recorded the existence of the Komodo dragon in 1910. These intrepid explorers, venturing into the remote corners of the world, stumbled upon a creature that seemed to have leapt straight out of mythology and into the realm of the living. The initial reactions were of disbelief and awe. The Komodo dragon was unlike any creature they had encountered before. With its imposing size and fearsome demeanor, it was easy to see why the local people had spun tales of dragons. It was a discovery that challenged the boundaries of zoology and left the scientific community in a state of wonder. In the early days following its discovery, the Komodo dragon was shrouded in mystery. Its habits, behaviors, and the full extent of its capabilities remained largely unknown. But as with all scientific discoveries, the initial awe gave way to a thirst for knowledge. Soon, teams of researchers descended upon the Indonesian islands, eager to learn more about this remarkable creature. The subsequent studies were revealing. The Komodo dragon, it turned out, was an apex predator, ruling its island habitat with an iron fist. It was a creature of extremes, the largest lizard in the world capable of taking down prey much larger than itself. With a long tail, serrated teeth, and reinforced skin with osteoderms, it was a perfect killing machine designed for survival in the harsh landscapes of its home. Yet the Komodo dragon was more than just a fearsome predator. It was a complex creature with a fascinating life cycle and behaviors that were as intriguing as they were unique. From the vulnerability of the young dragons living in trees to their long maturation period and the extended lifespan that could reach up to 30 years, the Komodo dragon was a testament to the wonders of evolution. The Komodo dragon, once a mythical creature, became a reality. It was a symbol of the untamed wild, a reminder of the incredible diversity of life on our planet and a testament to the enduring power of scientific discovery. The Komodo dragon, the largest living lizard, is truly a sight to behold. Hailing from the Indonesian islands, this creature can grow up to three meters long and weigh as much as 70 kilograms. Just imagine a lizard the size of a fully grown man. Physically, the Komodo dragon is a marvel of evolution. Its long tail, serrated teeth and reinforced skin with osteoderms make it a formidable predator. And let's not forget about its vision. This creature can spot a potential meal from up to 300 meters away. But it's not just its size and physical prowess that make the Komodo dragon impressive, its habitat and behavior are equally fascinating. The dragon is an apex predator, making it the king of its territory. It hunts a variety of prey, 
and its diet is as diverse as the Indonesian islands it calls home. What's truly remarkable is their hunting technique. These dragons are not the fire-breathing creatures of mythology, but they have another trick up their sleeve. They use their sharp serrated teeth to inflict deep wounds and then patiently wait as their prey weakens from the venomous bite. Talk about playing the long game. Komodo dragons live a solitary life, only coming together to mate. And when it comes to reproduction, they are quite unique. Mating occurs between May and August, with eggs laid in September and hatching in April. The young dragons are vulnerable and spend their early years living in trees, away from the dangers on the ground. Despite their size and power, these dragons are not invincible. They take eight to nine years to mature and can live up to 30 years. However, they are now listed as endangered and are protected under Indonesian law. The Komodo dragon has become the subject of scientific study and a national park is dedicated to their conservation. But the Komodo dragon, despite its size and power, is not invincible. Listed as endangered, the Komodo dragon faces several threats in its native habitat. These real-life dragons, the largest lizards on our planet, have been pushed to the brink of existence. One of the biggest challenges they face is habitat loss. With the increasing human population and development in Indonesia, the Komodo dragon's natural home is shrinking rapidly. Forests are cut down and lands are converted for agriculture or human settlements, leaving these magnificent creatures with fewer places to roam freely and hunt. Moreover, human interference poses another substantial threat. Despite being apex predators, Komodo dragons are often at the mercy of human activities. They are sometimes hunted for their skins and are frequently targeted by poachers. Additionally, they often fall victim to road accidents or are inadvertently caught in traps meant for other animals. But it's not all doom and gloom. There are concerted efforts in place to conserve these incredible creatures and their habitats. The Indonesian government has been proactive in protecting the Komodo dragon, enacting stringent laws against hunting and habitat destruction. In addition, the establishment of the Komodo National Park is a significant step towards their protection. This park, encompassing several islands, acts as a sanctuary for the Komodo dragons, providing a safe haven where they can thrive away from human interference. Conservationists and scientists are also working tirelessly to understand these creatures better. Research is being conducted on their behavior, breeding patterns and genetic makeup to inform conservation strategies. Captive breeding programs are also in place to increase their population and to reintroduce them into the wild. Yet, despite these efforts, the future of the Komodo dragon is uncertain. It's a race against time to ensure that these real-life dragons do not disappear into the realm of mythology. The survival of the Komodo dragon, the last of our real-life dragons, hangs in the balance. Our journey from the mythical dragons of ancient cultures to the real-life Komodo dragon of today has been quite a ride. We've traversed the ages from fantastical tales of fire-breathing creatures in China and Greece to an island in Indonesia where dragons do indeed roam, albeit without the fire. We've learned about the discovery of the Komodo dragon, a creature so magnificent and unique it was at first thought to be a myth itself. We've touched on its awe-inspiring characteristics, its sheer size, making it the largest lizard on Earth, and its predatory prowess, placing it at the very top of its food chain. We've delved into its habitat, the rugged and beautiful islands of Indonesia, and how this environment has shaped the Komodo dragon's evolution. We've explored its morphology, from its long tail and serrated teeth to its reinforced skin with osteoderms, and how these features have enabled it to thrive in its environment. We've also discussed the significant challenges this living dragon faces. From habitat loss to human conflict, the Komodo dragon now stands as an endangered species, but as we've learned, these creatures are not only the stuff of legends, but also the focus of dedicated conservation efforts. From the Komodo National Park to various global initiatives, there is a concerted effort to ensure that this remarkable creature continues to roam the Earth for generations to come. And it's not just about the Komodo dragon. The lessons we've learned from its story apply to all creatures, great and small. Conservation is a shared responsibility, one that requires our collective efforts. And so, as we bid farewell to our real-life dragon, we're reminded of the delicate balance of nature 
and our responsibility towards conservation. Our journey has been a testament to the wonders of our world, from the realms of mythology to the realities of nature. Here's to the dragons of our past, present and future, and to the stories they continue to inspire.